Hello everyone, this is Jasmine from Jazz Draws Art and today I thought I would do a video where you guys can get to know me a little bit and I've seen other artists do this and they call it a meet the artist kind of thing. Now this really takes me back to the days when I used to make reference pages of my original characters or I mean my own characters of me that represented me like my personas and everything and uh, I used to make these kind of things a lot, but mostly with animals and uh, anthropomorphic animals. <laughs> I, I used to update them like each year when their designs changed. So I, I kind of got used to it. So as you can see, I drew something and I didn't like it. So I drew something else and uh, I didn't really use a reference. So you're definitely going to see a lot of a lot of um, weird things going on with the way that I drew myself bending and everything but I mean it looks good it's just off so um, no need to judge me I already know and uh, I may go back and fix it but this is more about getting to know me <laughs> so uh, yeah I I used to make art a lot when I was younger I mean, I, I've always made art. I've made art my whole life. Art is my life, pretty much. It's the only thing that I could ever see myself doing that I can sit down and dedicate myself to and not give up, even though I feel like giving up a lot. Um, I really felt like art is just my calling in life and there's no way I could do anything but. And so, yeah, I went along with it. I've been doing it my whole life, even when I was a little kid and it just grew and grew and I went to art college and I graduated um, from a one-year condensed course for digital illustration and sequential art so I am technically a professional illustrator if you go by school standards and if not I make art art is art I'm an artist and I stand by that so for this um, for those who have actually seen what I look like in some of my other videos you can see that the way I draw myself is more ideal when the anatomy makes sense, that is. But um, the gist of this is pretty much me. So as you can see for the skin tone, I tried making a skin tone, it didn't work out. So I color picked from one of my actual photos. And this one I had to pink up a little bit because truth be told, I am extremely pale. It's my Celtic skin for you. Um, so I had to warm it up a little bit. On my, when I pick my color tone, it comes out like a grayish pink. So I look kind of dead. So to make it look better for an actual drawing, I yeah pink up a little bit. And I do have very long hair. I recently just trimmed it. And by trim, I, for most people, it would be a cut because I uh, had it down to close to my knees, but I'd say maybe six inches from my knee or less. But I had that cut to just at the end, like of my back, like around my tailbone. So I have really long hair. I'm very pale. I have dark brown hair and dark brown eyes. And I have tons of freckles. This outfit um, is actually quite different from the stuff that I used to draw myself in when I was younger and you can kind of see the progression, but I'm not going to tell you where to find my old deviant art because don't don't need people looking at that. So um, yes, I used to draw myself always in like a bright pink shirt or a yellow shirt, like a very bright shirt and then like jeans and these high top kind of converse shoes. That hasn't really changed, but now I drew myself in something that I actually wear, which is usually like jeggings or something like jean-like. And I love those shoes. That style of shoes is probably my favorite. And then for the shirt, I actually made a black um, merchandise shirt. So it says Marion Strange after my favorite band. The details that I tried to add, a lot of people added like very general things. I got it a little carried away and so I tried to level it out by making it not look so weird. <laughs> um, layout is something that I'm not used to doing with words. I'm not great at adding text to things. 
not that I can't do it, it's just something that irks me and is harder for me to make look good than just making a drawing. So as you can see, I will be changing the font and the size and the arrangement of everything like a million times till I get it the way I want. And this flower you're seeing is actually, um, it looks like a plumera, but when I looked up jasmines and like there's different versions of like fake jasmine, there's one they said is a Hawaiian tropical jasmine that is pink and yellow. And since it's my favorite colors, I added it. You can see a lot of the information on the sheet. I do move things around and play with it a lot. But if you want to read it, just pause to read it at any point. I really tried to just keep it kind of concise, but I tend to go overboard with these kind of things and I overthink everything. If there's a bottom line to me, it's that I overthink everything. But um, to say what I need to say, I basically made it as much me as I could get. You know, I'm, I'm pretty simple. One thing I didn't add on here is that I am, in fact, Canadian. <laughs> but my exact height, because whenever I say I'm 5'8", people are like, are you really? I'm 1 8 under, if it makes you feel any better. I kept the palette as kind of coordinated as I could keep it. Tried to make the font match, but all in all, I kind of kept some of it black and some of it purple. And yeah. I hope you guys enjoy this. If there's anything you need me to clarify, I know it went kind of fast, just let me know. Thank you so much, you guys, for watching. And I will see you guys in the next video. Thank you so much, and bye.